Okay, so there are some Sapphire units that I never really got the show on my channel. So we're going to be starting off with the Spirits Are Forever with you, Shinji. And so, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you do, leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you've been here for a while, subscribe. And also, again, I just want to say thank you for helping me get to 300 subscribers. And now I'm making my way to 350, so help me get there. Now, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. So this Safui Senji is a Heart Arranker Killer unit. He has the Captain in Hollow affiliations. Uh, my Shinji is 4 out of 5 as you can see here on the SP Focus Attack and Stamina are all at level 10. He has a generic strong attack recharge time minus 12% soul trait which you'll see on most SP units. He's a melee unit with weakening on all of his Strong attacks, he is immune to fire and freeze, and he has splinter press one for his innate skills. As for the rest of his skills, uh, devastation is only at 40%. He does have the increased mind attribute captain strong attack damage plus 20%, so his strong attacks will be doing 20% more damage. Havoc 20%, defibrillator plus 5 seconds, the element reversal skill, not really that much of a useful skill, it will rarely come in handy. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, this is a unit that came out before I started playing Bleach Brave Soul, so that was a couple years ago now, so he came out before then. As for the build, I'm going to be going with the T set, Fortification Pill, Lieutenant's Badge. As for the links, just some Strong Attack, Recharge Reduction, and Full Stamina Damage Links. And as for the bonus abilities, I'm going to be going with Full Stamina Damage Boost and plus 200 SP. I forgot to mention, since you know I really pay attention to this, um, this unit, he does have a base full stamina damage boost of 20%. So as you can see here, we're getting 25 from this bonus ability, then we're getting another 25 there, getting 16 from there, 16 from there. And if you're doing the math, you can see that we have a total of 102% full stamina damage boost. So with the base of 20% that he has, plus the links and the bonus abilities, yeah, this is what his full stem is looking like. So that's going to be it. We're going to go ahead and jump into some content to see what this unit can do. Alright, so here we are in a co-op inheritance trial. Uh, this unit does have killer this time around, so it would be good for him. Since he's a bit old, he will need the killer advantage help. Also, since he is immune to freeze, we don't have to worry about the status helmet, so your movement is not restrictive in this current IT. Oh, we took some damage, that is unfortunate. At all cure, recover stamina in between stages, so we are now back at full spam. Another good thing about this unit, um, the Aranker ITs, well there's a couple of them, there's one with this stage that has the freeze element, and there's another stage that has the fire element. So well, since this Shinji is immune to both of those, you know, he's pretty much kind of built for the Aranker ITs. So, you know, this is a pretty old unit, but, you know, feel free to use them in, you know, just Aranker IT. It'll still be great in there. Um, I'll try to show off the ailment reversal skill. I think in videos with units that have this skill, I never really showcased it. But there's a specific enemy that I have to find that will inflict the status element. Like one will inflict like I think it'll be the eye status element. I just have to find out which one. Um maybe it's these? No, I think it's a different type of enemy. Their attacks are. Oh wait, I think it's that enemy that does it. So if you can oh, I missed. Uh can you hit me? Yeah there we go. So, as you saw right there, he did inflict us with the freeze status elements. We healed for for a decent amount, actually. I was surprised it actually got us back to full stem. And it did inflict them with that element, and we just pretty much killed them. So, that is the element's reversal skill. So, if out of nowhere you're not paying attention and the enemy just so happens to hit you with an element that would inflict the status element, you know, just having that skill will be nice to have. But units nowadays really just are too strong and they'll kill anything before they get a chance to attack you or if you're not paying attention one enemy might just get a lucky hit on you. Um, Arankers do have some hit, hidden enemies so you can put a Zeta pill on this unit if you want to just to hit those enemies that are underground. 
His devastation's only got 40%, so his soul bomb will not be doing much. Still take a look at it. I'm surprised we got that far what we did with this soul bomb. Devastation only at 40%. But we were at full stamina and did have killer, so I think that helped out. Alright, we're back in here again with another run. Uh, yeah, as for his skills and soul bomb, I pretty much showed everything in the first run. I guess I can try to show off the element reversal skill again if you may or may not have missed it. But I think I know which enemies to click that status element now, though. So I just gotta be careful. Um, yeah. I really would like to see more Safwe units, you know. They they could probably do, like, maybe a Safwe or a Hime, Chad. You know, or maybe just reuse some of the older units, but I don't think they'll do that. I wonder if they're going to give any of these, you know, like, crossover units to Resurrection. Well, not really crossover, but, like, collaboration units. Hopefully they do, and if they do, they're pretty good. Because the Sapphire units at the time when they came out were definitely some of the best units in the game. Yeah, just only having Frenzy plus one and really uh, having a devastation of 40%. Not really good. I mean, the damage is still pretty good, though. I'm only one copy away from, um, you know, just having him max rescinded, and the damage difference between having him max rescinded and not having him max rescinded is pretty significant. So if I just so happen to get that one copy, I'll probably do another video on him just to showcase him at full power. Yeah, I think this unit was just pretty much made for the Ranker IT since he's immune to both the status elements that you will find in there. Strong attacks aren't too bad. I do like his SA too. It kind of gathers the these and pushes them back. I think that's really good. Soul bomb. Yeah, this Obama is doing pretty good. I think it's mostly because of the killer, though. Alright, so here we are with the final run for the video. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say about this unit since he is relatively old. Skills, um, not really all that impressive since he is, you know, just really old. Kind of been power crept, but still a decent unit. The element reversal skill is really just a situational skill. I mean, you'll probably rarely see it unless you like intentionally trying to get hit with a status element. And uh, yeah, if you, well, he can't get immune to status elements in any of these ITs, but if you try to like just, you know, if you get caught in this status element, the element reversal skill really won't take effect and an enemy will have to hit you with the status element. So just keep that in mind and yeah. And that's it for this unit. I hope you're saving your orbs, because the anniversary is coming up very, very soon. I think what I'll do every video, I'll just remind you to save your orbs for the anniversary. But, you know, they are your orbs. You can do whatever you want with them. I mean, games are meant to be played for fun. You really don't have to go for the meta units or anything like that. So if your favorite character just so happens to come up on a banner, by all means, go ahead and summon I know if a pretty decent I'm at Heisen comes out, I will probably be, you know, just probably want to summon on that banner, but I, I think I'd wait. Um, farm the point event of the current point event that's uh, going on right now. You are able to get a mine special move source, so just, you know, make sure you get that special move source. Those are very, very rare resources in the game. Uh, you can only get like 
they only give out like maybe one, two, if you're lucky enough, a third special move source, you know, just in an entire year. I really only save those for like special occasions like during anniversary or, uh, you know, like the end of year banner. Or maybe if there's some like major collaboration going on or, you know, the anime is airing and they release a banner, you know, for Yunus, you know, just to celebrate it or whatever, they might give out one for that. Uh, the special move sources, what they do is they allow you to increase, you know, just the dupe count of any unit will, with the respective attribute of any unit that you want without needing an identical character. So say, you know, it is a mine special move source, so I, if I wanted to, I could get this um, unit to 5 out of 5 max send it if I use that mine special move source without needing the dupe, but I, it, it honestly would just be a waste. Taking a lot of hits here. Alright, so that's going to be it for this one. Overall, the Spirits are forever with you. Shinji is a great unit for the IT or Ranker since he is immune to both status element that appears in that IT. But, you know, being a pretty old unit, he doesn't have a lot of skills, you know, just to help him out here. Uh, the element reversal skill is just a situational skill that you'll rarely see any use out of. He does have Havoc 20% though, which is great, and he does have, you know, just an increase base of 20% increased strong attack damage with this skill. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this unit. And so, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. And as usual, until next time.